What's up? It's your boy, Mr. Fritz, and we back at it. So, I'm in a good mood today. I finally bought RC20. 21. And I bought the UAD bundle, so I'm feeling good. Also, I decided to do this video over. I thought the last one, you know, was pretty rough. Couldn't get the audio the way I want it. And I figured out if you subscribe to me and... You know, you take the time to watch my videos, then I owe it to you to give you better quality. So, once again, I'm going to break down Toxic Interlude, which is a track that's a collaboration between me and my other two partners, Dom SOS and J1K. So, a little bit of backstory on this. Feel free to skip this part if you're bored with it. Um, me, Dom, and J1K, we have a Discord server where we share ideas with each other when we started working on this project. And... J1K sent me the rough version of the song, which I'm going to play right now. first heard the beat i was like man this is this is a crazy ass sample but i wanted to redo the drums in a way that if it got played in clubs or big venues that it would translate a little better so i asked j j1k to send me the, the stems and i took them and redid the uh, sample and uh j1k he has a, a track lib account and he got the sample from a producer from California called Esther. And the original sample is called Dreamland by Esther, as you can see in the uh, FL session. So I just took the drums and I modernized it. So usually when me and Dom collab on beats, I let Dom get first dibs because when I take over the beat, I'll do it from start to finish. So he opened up Vital and the very first preset that loads is called Analog Pad. And the pattern that he came up with just fit like a glove. So here's the actual flute. And you know, the only processing we have on it is Valhalla Vintage Verb, which, you know, it's a great reverb. So he threw that on top of the sample, which I'll play the sample right now. And it's just crazy. So uh, in the original, J1K came up with uh, the New Jersey uh, kick pattern that's in all music nowadays. And I decided to fatten it up a little bit. What I did was I got the BWB kick and I layered it with an old drum kit that I don't even think is online anymore. I've had this drum kit since at least 2008. And the purpose of this is the lead kick has a lot of transient energy in it. Like it's a lot of punch in the initial uh, drum sample, as you can hear right now. And mind you, there's no processing on it whatsoever. What I did was I layered it with a cassette 808 kick just so you can give some of that sub energy that the initial kick is missing. And just layer them together and... And of course, what plugin do you think I used? Camel Crusher, you already know. I'll do a uh, before and after. So this is without processing. And this is with Camel Crusher. Way fatter. So, you know, you play them together and here you go. Of course, the uh, 808 sample has a kind of long tail, which I reduced in the Reaper session after I recorded the song. If you guys are interested in that kind of breakdown, I'll do that a little bit later. So I'll play that along with the sample so you can hear what it sounds like together. <laughs> So now 
were cooking with grease. So for the actual verse, what I did was actually this was sort of inspired by a Drake song. Uh, he has a song on the care package that's called How About Now? And I've always loved that drum pattern on that song. So I didn't necessarily want to copy it or rip it off, but I wanted to put my own spin on it uh, in order to make this really knock. So I'll play the entire pattern so you can hear what it sounds like without uh, the sample. So here's the kick pattern I came up with for the uh, verse part. Uh, it has a nice swing to it and everything. So I just took the uh, same kick that I used for the uh, New Jersey drum uh, pattern. I layered it with another uh, snare from a different BWB kit. I got the whole collection. And it's just a really fast snare. It's one of my favorite snares. Well, one of my favorite uh, New Age snares anyway. Then I did the hi-hat pattern. Just like this. Layered it with an open hat and uh, a snap on every uh, four. So it goes snare on the two, then snare and snap on the four. Like, it's just a really reverby uh, snap tail. I just thought it gave it a little bit of a uh, flavor, if you will. Now for the uh, bass stab, like I could have did an 808 pattern for the whole thing, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I found a patch in Serum and I modified it a little bit to give it a bass stab. All I did was uh, I reduced the attack so that it wasn't so uh, punchy when hitting at the same time as the kick, and I didn't want them to interfere with each other. It's the BAD bass tool. I had a sub frequency, uh, minus two on the octave. Um, I added uh, these two sh uh, wave shapes. I'm still kind of new to the synthesis, but you get the picture. I filtered it uh, up to 98 Hertz, so it's basically all low end, made it mono because most uh, bass should be in mono anyway. You want it right down the middle because um, bass on the size doesn't do anything for your stereo field other than, you know, take up space. And this is what it sounds like by itself. As far as processing goes, once again... Camel Crusher. This had the tool warmth preset. Added a devil lock. A really cool, uh, I don't know if it's compression or saturation or distortion, but it sounds awesome. And I don't even use that word awesome. I just feel like doing it. And a little bit of R bass to bring out uh, the frequencies around 80 hertz. Of course, I reduced the intensity so it's not like overbearing, but it's nice and fat. So, of course, we'll do a... Uh, before and after processing. So this is before. And this is after. This added a lot of grit to the bass line and um, really brought it out in the mix. So let's play it all together with the sample. That's the verse part. Now, like I said in previous videos, what you want to do is run your sample through halftime or growth speed just to see how it sounds. And if it sounds dope, you build a different part to it just to give it a little variance. So that's what I did. Uh, I bought FL Studio and I share it with Dom. He's like my brother. So when he buys plugins, he shares it with me. So he bought halftime, which now that I think about it, that's kind of a ripoff. I bought FL Studio, which is like damn near five hundred dollars. He bought halftime for like fifteen. He's like, "Oh, here you go. We're not even dumb." <laughs> nah, that's my dog. Here is the slowed down version of the sample ran through halftime, and I filtered out the highs and the lows. And 
then to layer that, mind you, I have too many keyboards, but I am not a pianist. I am not a keyboard player. I just, you know, find little chords and it took me a little while to figure out the chord progression for this, but I think it sounded pretty good. And uh, here's the chord progression I got to go over the slowed down version of the sample. So the preset for that sample is the LA Custom C7 Classical uh, Keyscape. And I just thought it felt real good. Uh, there's no processing on the mix uh, for the keyboard. And yeah, I just thought it sounded good together. So then for the second part, for the breakdown, this is when I did an actual 808 pattern. I just wanted it to knock on a little breakdown part. Uh, for the 808, I'm pretty sure I used a Shy God kit because of course I did. I'm kind of addicted to that kit. It got to the point where I told Don we had to ban using the kit because we we're using it so much and I have so many drum kits that, you know, I gotta spread the love. But for this one, we use a Shy God kit. Uh, here is the pattern. Sorry about that. Uh, once again, it's Camel Crusher and uh, the Parametric EQ too, lobbing off all the highs and a little bit of the lows because 808s don't need anything that low anyway. Anything below, what, 30 hertz? Unless you're going for that kind of uh, fuzziness underneath, that, that low end that's pretty garbage, you don't really need it on your 808s because it takes up headroom when you're trying to master and mix. Yeah, I used pretty much all the same sounds in the breakdown as I did on the regular kick pattern. So we'll play it all together. It's not a complicated beat, but I really like this beat a lot. Um, and it's the first collaboration between all three of us, Absurd Nerds, myself, Dom, and Dom SOS, and J1K. And I think it really came out dope. Um, this is my first song I've put out since uh, my last project. Also, to give you guys a little bit of an update, I started a new project. I'm about 20% into it. But starting in January, I'm going to be out of work for six weeks due to surgery. And I was going to take that time to really dive deep into a new project. I have a lot of ideas I really like, but I haven't had the time to really dig in the way I want to, to do this project. But now I'm going to take this opportunity to try to do it in January. I want to like make this my, my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, my... Midnight Marauders, my, you know, To Pimp a Butterfly. Those are like really high standards, but I'm talking about in terms of like me putting my full effort into a project uh, from the production standpoint. And, you know, I want to basically overproduce most of it. So for now, I really enjoy making videos. Like I was real uncomfortable doing it at first because uh, I don't like being on camera. I'm not really into social media like that, but I have a lot of fun doing these, and I plan on doing a lot of videos uh, from this point forward. I guess I'll play the real song uh, right after this. Um, if you like what you see, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's your boy, Mr. Fritz, and I'm out. Uh-uh, not to not be in Call me back, nigga. Yeah. I love this. Why you got me pressed? Always wanna flex. Bringing up your ex. I am not impressed. Break up from the stress. Wake up to a text. Make up in the sex. Show to you the best. But you toxic, toxic.
boxing. Girl, you know I love that ass till I flatline. But you keep my car for the last time. All the crazy talk is so asinine. But goddamn, that asinine. She hand clapping, she finger snapping. She worked my nerves like she passed the time. You was with me when I ain't have a dime. But I swear that you lost your ratchet mind. The homies don't like you. That told me don't wife you. And I should one night you caught in a cycle of break up to make up. I promise I'd like to. She my first love and it hurts us. Had an attitude, got a surplus. She like, fuck you, nigga, then sure enough. We be back at it all shirtless. Like, whoa, thinking I got all the hoes. You run and cut up my clothes. Got me exposed on Twitter. Hell, Ken and Kel, I hear it goes. Got all your friends out here calling us goals. I just wish we took a different approach. It's either you riding or get off the boat. And if you ain't with it, I hope you can flow. Boy, you got me pressed. Always wanna flex. Toxic, toxic. Every other week, shorty wanna hate me. We gets to arguing why she even gave me. I pull up to her crib just so she can face me. Then she opens up the door up like a lowercase d. Let's get it. Toxic, toxic. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Don't do that toxic shit. <laughs>